bridge in the oil-rich southern Niger Delta. Musicians live in utter poverty, but keep their culture alive. They came from the north to seek riches, but found no work. Government teams sometimes come by to raise their shacks. We didn't know. We didn't know just like that. And then this place where we are living is no place where we are living. Aminu Yusuf Aruma did not see the raising uh, motorway coming. In the park, all the stops, and there is no anything. What happened just like that? They can scatter all this our place. It's a constant struggle against the elements. The water by the slum is polluted, but still, people here use it for bathing, cooking, drinking. Aruma says politicians and oil executives do not know how to share with the poor. Now there is no money, enough money. Oh God, they use, enjoy our life. All our big, big uh, men, when they are in this Nigeria, don't hold the money, keep only them. They know all, they are only, they are where they shall be. We were there under us, they know they look at what, our problem. But Aruma and his troops still sometimes give impromptu performances for their neighbors. Other slum dwellers. The newly elected state governor in River State has said he will stop demolishing waterfront villages. These musicians and dancers can only hope they will be able to find work as cultural artists rather than reselling cheap items around the bridge, which they call home. Nico Columbus, VOA News. Port Harcourt, Nigeria.